Hello and oh seven everyone, welcome back to another tutorial and to this tutorial series on the drag and drop with me Swap Up Gaming. This will be a continuous on the drag and drop basics and the drag and drop split stack tutorials that you can see on screen now. In this section that is divided into three parts we want to be able to drag multiple widgets at once and we want to be able to select and deselect items that we wish to drag. In this first video, we will only be cleaning up the code we created in previous tutorials and we will be starting where we left off after the split stack tutorial. Comment everything and the only change in code will be that we are precasting the left and right dropbox in the dragged item widget. In the second video, we will be talking about selecting widgets and setting them up to be dragged in bulk between the two drop zones. We will be selecting and deselecting widgets using the control key. If you like to jump over to that video, it's on screen now. In the third video we will be creating a new drag and drop operation and use this to do the actual drag and drop. We will also make sure that the data get presented in the correct way in the end. Before we move on, please give me that like and subscription to help out the channel. We have a lot of ground to cover here so let's get started. Alright, the first thing we want to do when we're cleaning up here is we're going to go in to our dragged item here. We're going to go into the graph and we're going to stay here on event graph. The first thing we want to do is we're going to remove the uh, pre-construct here and we're going to remove the event tick because we're not going to use that. And instead of casting every time we're going to use the current widget, we want to pre-cast this so it's, so it's all ready to go. We can drag in the current widget here and we are going to cast to left dropbox and we're going to set this as a variable we're going to promote this to the, a variable there we go and if that fails of course we're going to copy this and we're going to cast it through the right dropbox so cast to right dropbox i'm going to promote this to a variable as well all right, I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. And hook it up here. And we are going to comment this. We're gonna comment, comment it with cast to correct drop box. All right. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna clean up this mess here. So now we're gonna drag out as left drop box here. And we're gonna check if this is valid. So it's valid. I'm going to do it with the question mark here. I'm going to drag this down a little bit so get it out of the way. So uh, if this is not valid, we of course want to check if it is the right drop box. So we're going to drag this out and we're going to do a is valid on this as well with the question mark. And we're going to connect the is not valid into this one. And this one here from the event on drag canceled, gonna go into the executive connection, All right? So if this is valid, if it is the left dropbox here, we're going to connect a contract as out one as left dropbox here again. And we're gonna connect this to all these connections that this is connected to. So we got one here and we can drag it out to this one as well. And we're going to drag out one more to this last one here. And that means that we are able to delete this one. And clean up a little bit here. So what we can do is we can mark all these. And shift A will make them left aligned. Right, let's do the same thing for the right drop box here. So we're gonna drag out a as right drop box. I'm gonna connect it to all these things that it is connected to. And we have one more right there. Remove these. We're gonna connect this is valid to the branch here. And this is valid to this branch here. Okay, I'm gonna drag these out a little bit separate them out and we are going to comment this a little bit so we know what's going on here here we comment with dragging from left dropbox do a question mark on that one 
remove this over here and comment this with dragging from right the prop box so the next thing we do here is we check if the success messages have been sent so we're going to comment this with has success message been sent that is what we do here so if it has not been sent we want to comment this one too but if false add this widget to the scroll box so basically we do the same thing here comment with as success message been sent and here we go if false add this widget to the scroll box all right next thing we want to do we're going to open it on drag detected here Let's uh, start cleaning this up a little bit. They are back and forth, crisscrossing everything. There we go. And we can start by using a comment here on our shift input. I'm going to call this, are we pressing the shift key? Right, that is what we do there. Then we can comment this guy here with the uh, create drag and drop for single item because we're going to have a totally different um, drag and drop function for the multi uh, item all right now we're going to check here uh, cast the right drop box so we're going to drag out a new version of the right drop box here and we're going to go and do a is valid check and we're gonna connect that up. And we can actually pull this up a little bit and we can drag out a as left drop box as well. And we are going to do is valid here as well. And we're gonna connect the is not valid. So if it's the right drop is not valid, it goes to the left drop box here, all right? And so what we can do here now is as a right drop box, we can drag this and we can connect this to this guy here. Move that over there, delete that one. And then we can connect this one down here. So that, that, that's all, it's good. And for the left drop box, we're gonna drag that out and connect that here. We're gonna delete the cast. And um, from is valid, we're gonna connect that up to this remote child. I'm going to connect these and we're going to comment these guys with uh, are we dragging from the right Dropbox. And we're going to do here, we're going to do the same thing. So what are we doing here? Drag these up a little bit and get this over here. Let's see if we can make it a little more pretty. And we can drag that down a little bit. So what we're doing here is whenever we drag an item from the left side or right side to the other side, we want to remove it. And that's what we're doing here. We want to remove it from the widget list. So. Right, and then we're going to drag this out a little bit, and I want to make this a little prettier. So I'm going to take a rewrite node there, and we're going to drag this node here into reroute. So it's only one connection goes into the actual return node. Now, for the operation node here, this blue node, we want to make this into a variable. Remote variable. 
and we're going to rename this variable to drag and drop operation. And we're going to set it right here after we create my drag and drop. So we're going to drag out a setter, use the alt key to get a setter. We're going to connect those two up. And the reason we do this is to make everything a little bit easier for us in the future because we will have two different routes here. One for the single item and one for the multi item. And therefore we will have two different um, drag and drop operations that is possible. So then it's easier to just make this into a variable. All right. And let's just put a comment on this and we're going to call it set return value. All right. The next thing we want to do is we are going to compile a save and then we're going to go in and open the left drop box here. And let's go into our on drop function here. And this is a little bit messy, so uh, it would be a good place to clean this up. So let's. Um, Pair this up a little bit and pair this off a little bit. So what we're going to do here is we're going to call this and we're going to comment this to cast to write Dropbox. And the next thing we do here is we are setting the success message. So set success message and over here we are setting the item name and item amount the next thing we do here is we're checking if we have used our shift key if we are splitting the stack or not so are we pressing the shift key? All right, uh, let's get a little bit of room here. And the next thing we're doing here is we're trying to find existing row. And of course, if we have a row, we don't add a new widget. We're just updating the amount in the row. So this is going to be called run find existing row function, right? What are we doing here? Well, we are creating the counter widget and adding it to the viewport. And we can actually comment this whole thing with um, create a counter widget and start this stack process let's uh, hook this up a little bit and then we are getting down here and I'm gonna drag this down a little bit so here did we find a row? So if we found a row, we're setting the row found to false again, and we're just going straight to the end position here. But if we didn't find a row, we want to add a new child, right? So we're going to comment this with uh, create a widget if we did not already have a row. Right, cool, that is that. So now we're just gonna make it a little prettier. So if we go over here, first of all, to the shift one, we routers, and we're gonna do that with the item amount. Make sure that the lines are roughly even. 
what we can do here is we can do a reroute and we're going to drag this one into reroute instead there we go and we're going to drag this out a little bit so it's clear what everything is doing all right so that is that let's see we can do is we drag take all those four and then shift a and that will make them placed on the same place cool so the next thing is going to happen is we're going to do exactly the same thing with the right drop box that we did with the left drop box but i'm going to let you do that and uh, i'll see you in the next video where we start implementing the new functionalities so we can actually dragging and dropping the multiple items at once all right so see you there until then i'll swap up gaming